Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Chris Davis and today we're going to do a um, Sasuke story chapter 6 part 2 review. So this manga chapter is short. Um, I think just like the last one. I don't see why they didn't combine part 1 and part 2. Maybe they're trying to drag the story out, but they really could have combined chapter six part one and two together to make one manga chapter uh konoha shinden chapter <clears throat> last week was super short like I, I couldn't make a video about it like it would literally only be a minute long so i decided to do just a short about it um but even though this is about like the same length as that there's a lot of there's some dialogue in here that really gives me more to talk about so it's going to be longer than a minute so sasuke story chapter six part two i think this is gonna wrap up um if not next week then like maybe two more chapters that's what i think i could be wrong okay so the manga chapter starts off sasuke knocks on um sakura's office door he asks her to follow her and they are going to meet up at that pond so last um chapter if you don't remember sasuke figured out where the meteor landed years ago and he learned that's where the ultra particles are so they leave sakura's office sakura um jumps out um, and she's about to sprain her ankle or something, but then Sasuke um, helps break her fall and stuff. So you see she's wearing high heels instead of um, real shinobi shoes and stuff. And sh her mentors, Tsunade and Shizune, wore the same thing. Those aren't ideal if you shoes if you're a ninja, by the way. Anyway, they're heading to the location where the meteor fell. And this is where the uh, dialogue starts coming in. Um, so Sakura is, is, is thinks that Sakura uh, says that the pond or the lake is beautiful. And um, Sasuke says he wished his daughter could see this. And um, Sakura says that Sar Sarada. Their daughter is learning about the cosmos these days. And this is when they um, start getting deep with the dialogue. Uh, Sasuke says that mm -hmm. Sasuke asked Sakura, uh, would, he, would she like a ring from her? Not one made from chakra, but one that's bought at a store. And then Sakura says there are times where she thought about that she wanted one, but then she thought that it wouldn't be good for her because you see right here with the top left hand corner, her hands, how callous they are. Uh, she says that they wouldn't be ideal for her hands because she's a shinobi and you see all the things she does. Like she cooks and she cleans, but she also does other shinobi stuff. She's also a doctor. So probably having a wedding ring on while you're um, doing surgery on people probably wouldn't be the best anyway. So she's a Nobi, she's a doctor, she's cooking and cleaning. So probably she's right. It's not best for her to have one. And Sasuke is letting Sakura know what's really on his mind, that um, he has some concerns about when he's away, about him missing out on Sarada growing up and just being there with Sakura. And Sakura tells them that she feels the same way, that she um, misses him like when he, when, um, when Sasuke grows. So Sasuke, Sasuke is already full grown, but growing older and stuff. So she mentions that um, when he returns, she notices that he has a few wrinkles, especially when he smiles. 
and she says that's okay and then Sasuke says look look you don't have any wrinkles you don't even, you don't you don't change and uh, Sasuke says that it's okay for her to have wrinkles and um uh, she asks what has brought all of this on and Sasuke says nothing he just felt talking about it but that's not true Gigi really brought it on and now that i think about it maybe this won't be wrapped up in a ch in a chapter or two because i watched naruto explained videos and i don't want to spoil anything but something's supposed to happen with Gigi. so um if that's if that's going to happen then this might be a little bit longer so uh Sakura says, "Like, let's get back. Let's get back to business. Let's get these ultra particles and head back to the village because they're getting these ultra particles. They're in the land of Radaku to help Naruto. That's why they're here to begin with." So, uh, she pulls out um, a card from the Heavenly Stardust game or Heavenly Maps game, and Sasuke says, "A lizard on the rock." And Sakura says it's not just any other lizard, it's the dragon beast and the meteor. So, in the world of Naruto, dinosaurs exist, but instead of calling them dinosaurs, they call them dragonic beast. And the lizard and rock are supposed to symbolize the meteor that destroyed the dinosaurs. And then um, a light bulb pops up in Sasuke's head, and while he's thinking about while he's putting everything together throughout his while he, while he's putting everything together that he's seen throughout the mission, Sakura's performing the hand signs um, to release the ultra particles. And we see here while she's doing that, Sasuke is putting everything together, and then um, he gets Sasuke is getting ready to tell Sakura what's happening. She performs the hand signs, and the ultra particles come out, and she gets them. So, um, mission partially successful. They still have to give this to Naruto to cure him. They had the ultra particles, but they still they have to still cure Naruto. So, um, before they do that, there's an explosion, and then Sasuke says he's figured out Zanzo's plan. He's reviving. The ancient dragons with Edo Tensei. So that's where the chapter ends off. And um, this looks like this manga arc is going to wrap up soon. In fact, it is. Um, but I think it's going to at least be two or three chapters because there's supposed to be something with Gigi. Okay. So um, that's all we have for today. If you liked what I had to share, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and all of you. Have a great day.